This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Alpaca Pencil Case V2, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So when it comes to external features and materials, there's not a ton going on here. It's very minimalistic. We're kind of used to seeing that from Alpaca. We've tested quite a bit of Alpaca gear in the past, but there are three colorways and that comes with a few different material options. So there is a black X-Pack X50 version, a black X-Pack VX42 version, and then an olive green X-Pack X42 version. So that's two, um, actually no, three different materials with the X50, the VX42, and the X42 uh, materials. Sorry, I needed to look at my notes for that one because that is a mouthful and a lot of different materials. So even though those are three different materials, they're all very similar materials. They're all very lightweight. They are water resistant and um, they're durable. I mean, X, that's basically the reason people like X-Pack is it's durable, water resistant, and it's lightweight. So I feel like I'm repeating myself a bit there, but this thing is very light. Like I've got is per, almost as much gear as I can stow inside here, at least comfortably, and this is still very lightweight. We've got a YKK AquaGuard zipper that runs across the top of this thing. I really dig this pull. It's very simple, feels as durable as the materials used on the pack, probably actually more so. And I like that it has this little, I don't even know what you call it, almost like button, so you can kind of grab onto that if this gets wet or something like that. Just really easy to open and close. The AquaGuard does sometimes feel like it makes it harder to open and close this thing. Um, obviously that pull helps a little bit, but I like the addition because I typically, at least me, I was stowing tech inside of here. So I wanted to make sure that my tech stayed dry. Like if a water bottle leaks or it's really raining outside and water seeps through my backpack, I wanted to make sure what I stowed inside here was safe. So we do have tabs on either end here. So those are nice to hold on to, to open or on the other side, close the zipper. You could also attach like a carabiner or something on here. And this is also how, if you want to attach Alpaca's hub keychain, you can attach it on here, which makes this a bit more modular inside of a pack, or you could like have it on your desk at work or whatever. So you can attach that here. It doesn't feel as important or um, you don't need it as much as other things the Alpaca key, uh, hub keychain is compatible with, but it is nice to have that, especially if you have a bunch of Alpaca gear. So as you can see, this thing is very small. Even if you have smaller hands, you're gonna be able to carry this thing just by holding onto it. You can fit it in any really travel day pack, backpack, sling, fit it in your pocket if you have a bigger pocket. But let's dive into what you can actually fit inside of it, not where you can put it. So I'm gonna pop this open and show you what I've got inside, and then we'll go over the interior. So I've just got my three cables that typically live in my tech pouch, a USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to micro USB, which is kind of hard to find. I don't know if you've ever looked for uh, this cable, but I wanted to get you know one that matched my other ones, but I, I couldn't find one. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but that's a little tangent there. And then USB-C to lightning to charge my iPhone. So those fit in there. Those are probably the bulkiest thing I have in here. I've just got a little wall charger here from Anchor to use with those. And then my headphones that I use pretty frequently. So those all fit in there. There was a little bit of room to spare, but that's about as comfortable as I was packing this thing. Um, I'm gonna go over a few other things you could stow in here after we go over the inside. So as you can see, we've got this nice orange liner here. It's a 210D Hi-Viz Orange, orange ripstop nylon lining. As you can see there, there is that ripstop texture inside of there, but no organization inside of here. I don't think any of you expected there to be. This thing is so small that I don't know what organization you could really put in here that wouldn't hinder its usage. So as you can see, I was kind of using this as not necessarily a tech kit, but just like a charging kit. So like if I have my phone with me, I have my, I want to bring my headphones with me and I have another device. I don't know exactly what it would be, something that charges with USB-C, whether that be my Nintendo Switch or something like that. I can put all of the chargers, the headphones and the wall charger inside of here. I also use this as kind of like a photography kit that I, not necessarily a full kit, but just things that I would need with me on like a day where I was taking photos, but not necessarily going on vacation. I could fit a couple extra batteries, SD cards, little cables and accessories inside of here. One of my lenses has a really small filter thread size, so I was able to fit one of the filters inside of here. But again, I wasn't able to fit everything I needed, just things I might need for a day excursion, or maybe if I like to take photos before, before work or after work, you could put everything you need inside of here. It goes inside your work backpack and then everything, all of your photo stuff's inside of here. 
Again, it just, if you don't know exactly what you're gonna do with this, it's hard to find a use for it. When I first got it, I was like, I don't know what to do with this. So I just kind of started throwing stuff in there. So if you don't have a use for it, I don't know whether I can recommend this, but if you do, like, if you're like me and you like to have a couple of your photo, some of your photo gear with you at all times, this is a really nice solution to just have a couple things and it doesn't take up a bunch of space, like a big camera bag or a camera cube. You just bring your camera and then you have your accessories inside of here. It's, if you do have lots of little doohickeys, like I have all of this with me at all times, you probably can find a use for this because you can throw stuff in there and it's a nice tiny little thing that if you're going to the coffee shop and you don't want to take up very much space, you just have a few things inside of here. Like if you're working on your iPad, you could just have, you know, a brick, a charger, maybe some headphones. You could put your Apple pen inside of here and you're ready to go. Not even to mention, I haven't talked about that. You can just put pens and pencils inside this thing. And I did try that and I did note, obviously with pencils more specifically that it did get marked up especially on I knew it was on this side by the alpaca logo it was mostly here on the bottom and as you can see I was actually able to clean it off pretty easily just with a sponge but I guess depending on what the writing utensil that you use is you might it might be harder or easier for you to clean that off so I'm not someone who typically travels with a bunch of pens or pencils if you are this might be a great solution for you because it is lightweight it's going to stop water from getting inside of here or if any of your materials have any liquid or water or whatever it's gonna if something happened to those it's gonna keep that liquid from getting into your pack so again it's it's kind of a niche use item but overall very happy with it for what I used it for but if you don't have a specific use I'm not sure I can recommend it so there you have it the alpaca pencil case v2 Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.